Hi YouTube, Hedgy Chins here, back with another video. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you the cages. Um, nothing major has changed. I'm actually, I'm working on it. Just haven't, again, really had time for anything um, as far as decorating goes. Just mainly cleaning and changing pads and things like that. Um, that's really all I've had time for. I tried to decorate a little bit for Halloween, got some Halloween fleece prints, but that's pretty much it. So these are just going to be brief cage tours, and I'll probably be doing the chin cage tomorrow, as I'm extremely tired. So I'm just going to start over here with Pebbles' tank, and then I'll t um, talk about the guinea pig cage. So here is my husband's chest of drawers, and Pebbles is just located on top. Um, so here's her tank. And she's just got a couple of window clings from the dollar store. A little owl with the witch hat, a lollipop, some candy corns and stars. And inside she is on like a colorful bedding um, slash ball. And she will be um, going to white bedding right after this one for the winter season. Um, so she's on her... Carolina Storm Bucket Wheel. Um, I love this wheel. It's $35 Carolina Storm and they come in all different colors. So if you have a boy you want blue and they have even glitter ones which is really cool. I chose pink which I didn't really think about it but it doesn't go with every season. So I may buy another one in another color. Um, back there she has her water bottle. She has her log and over here she is sleeping underneath of her fall print um, snuggle sack. She doesn't really know how to use it, so she just sleeps under it. I'm sorry. Good night. <laughs> and then she has her bowl and her toys over here. She actually does move them around because I did not put those there. Um, <laughs> and then she just has her garland up here with little pumpkins from the dollar store. So that's it. And then over here, oh, and hand sanitizer and her supplies are, like, back there in that corner. And then here is the guinea pig enclosure. So, um, I am not the original creator of this cage. Valerie Zhu, I give complete props to her. She is the original maker of this cage. And I just thought it was brilliant because it was, it worked for me. It worked for my space. And worked with a little bit with what I wanted to do. She actually has three cages on this. I only needed two though. So down here in a two foot by eight foot cage we have Duchess and Flower. And up here in a two foot by four foot cage we have Hippie. And then up here we have my sewing table. Down there we have some storage, their food, their vitamins, my printer. Um, some um, like random storage junk. Um... And then some of the fleece that I've been working with has completely piled up here. And as well as here. But that's for Christmas, so I just gave you like a little quick glance. So I'll just start over here with Hippie's cage. She has a microfiber rug here in this corner in green for Halloween. She has her water bottle that I need to fill. Even though I filled it yesterday all the way to the top. She finished it really quick. Um, here she has a little chew. Her house, this is from Pee Wee's um, Piggy Palace. And then I made the liners for this cage and it just has pink on one side and then orange, black, white, and pink on this side, polka dots. She has her little cuddly fox blanket by Martha Stewart's Pets. She has her completely destroyed um, barbell. <laughs> her um, jingle ball, it's a cat toy that you can get at PetSmart. Um, her flower woodland chew from um, Bobby's Bunny Boutique, and it actually lasted quite some time. The first one didn't. Um, and then she has these little, um, like, little ring ringlets um, from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, and that was free gifted to us um, from Rachel. Um, then over here she has her little um, litter box, and she has her... Halloween, I can't reach it, Halloween bowl. It's got a little pumpkin with a ghost, and this one's from eBay, and I believe I paid like $5 for this, so it was really cheap. And this is just for her pellets in the morning. And then she has her other bowl that I chop up her vegetables and put them in there. 
Um, she is on this fleece, um, purple, orange, green, white, and black with orange back um, pee pad that I made actually this morning for her to replace her other one that she completely destroyed um, with pee and poop and hay. Um, and this is her hay bag. I actually had the I had the hay bag to match that, but she actually got into it and peed in it, so I had to throw it in the wash. Unfortunately, I didn't make it to the cage tour, so I have this bumblebee uh, print. And what she does is she chews a hole into the hay, just big enough so that she can squeeze her body through it, even if I overstuff it, as I did here. Um, she still manages to get inside. So again, pee pad and liner made by me, and that is pretty much it. And this um, Miss Hippie, I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see the outline of her body. She's in there though, sleeping. And here on the outside, she has um, some Halloween garlands. And here we have a Halloween sign that just matched their fleece perfectly with the polka dots, and this is from the dollar store. And it's a spooky night on it. And down here we have Duchess and Flower's cage. And Duchess is over there eating out of her Hello Kitty Boo hay bag. Um, oh, that's actually Flower. Flower! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Hi! Hi! And there is Duchess and Flower. And there they have their candy corn dish and then their blue and green dish for their vegetables. And this liner is also made by me. Um, and it's the... Hi. Hi, pretty girl. I gotta give you your medicine soon. Um, so, yep, that's the side. And this is where they do all their, you know, pooping and peeing and making a mess. And then on this side, um, we just have some, we have a house back in that corner with a microfiber rug, their water bottle, they actually had two more, but they broke, so I actually need to get more. Um, that's the Lixit one, and it's actually not that great. Um, they're really expensive, and it, the two, the two that I had along with this one, they broke, so I'm just like not too happy about that. Down here we have the tunnel that matches Hippie's house. We have a caterpillar chew, and they're on the same fleece as that side. They have a little veggie hanging thing. Um, I don't put anything in here though, it just kind of hangs here. They have a plastic barrel roller, that's a cat toy. A little cardboard chew, and a, like a cuddle cup um, with the same pattern as uh, Pebbles' cuddle sack and their little uh, cuddly blanket in there. And that's pretty much it for them. I'm working on getting um, these pieces, these white um, doors to come down. Um, I've actually, I, I know how I'm gonna do it. I just have to get these cut properly. So I'm gonna just cut this piece all the way up to here. So just cut here and then leave this one long, this piece long, so that it'll just fold out and I have to get some sort of attachment for here instead of this. Oh yes, and they have a little chew back here too. It says guinea pig on it. Um, so yep, these doors will eventually come down hopefully by the next video. And hopefully by the next video they'll have like a lot more stuff. Um, I'm still trying to get them situated. They have a lot of stuff in the wash. A lot of fleece items are in the wash right now. Um, down here they have their food um, and their Oxbow urinary tablets. And then my printer and their hamper. So I'm working on organizing this place. It's still a bit of a mess because it's still really new to us, um, but we're working on it. So anyway, this is um, the guinea pigs and Pebbles' tank tour. And I will be doing the chinchilla cage tour tomorrow because I am just exhausted. <laughs> But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and hopefully by next time you'll get a way better view of this cage um, because these doors will be able to come down and there will actually be lighting systems on the inside of the cage underneath there so they can see better. 
so I can see. Um, and I actually have to paint this side. I was only able to paint this side because um, this was done right before my surgery, so I wasn't able to do the whole thing because you need to let it air out and stuff, so I actually, Hippie's cage originally was on this side, so everybody was living on one side. Um, while this part was airing out, then I got the pegboard and started getting everything situated. So I do need to finish it off. Um, so hopefully by next time you guys will be able to see everything a lot better. So that is it for the cage tour. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Please subscribe, like, subscribe. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them below. And I will see you all tomorrow for the Chinchilla Cage Tour. Thank you. Bye-bye.